Yep. Okay. Craft cuties, welcome back to my channel. My name is Courtney. If you are new here, welcome. Please consider becoming a member of the family by hitting the subscribe button, the like button, and the notification bell so that you know when new videos go up. Okay, now that we have that business taken care of, let's get into our video for today. So, last week I was talking to my sweet friend Becca and we were talking about just kind of crafting and gifting ideas and we were talking about bracelets. I call them stack bracelets, some people call them stretch bracelets. I don't know what you call them for real, but this is what we're talking about. No, they do not match anything that I have on, but that is not the point, okay? This is what we're getting into today. So. Uh, thank you, Becca, for my inspiration, and we're going to do these today. So a lot of times you can go on Etsy or the local interwebs on Amazon, and you could purchase three or four of these stack bracelets for $35, between $35 and $50. However, comma, what you can do is sit in front of a good movie or a good sitcom and crank out a few of these yourself. So you can use all kinds of colors. Um, you can use charms. You can, it, it really is endless um, what you can do with this. So if that's your jam, that sounds like something you want to learn how to do, then stick around. We are about to get into it. So before we get into the supplies that we'll need, let's talk about sizes. So the smallest size I have here is six millimeters. Then the next size is eight millimeters. There's a 10 millimeter and a 12. So you'll choose your beads based on your own personal preference, but those are the various sizes that I use. So to start this project, the supplies we'll need for a ladies bracelet, you'll need about 19 to 22 beads, the beads of your choice. You'll need stretch magic. I use the one millimeter size or any type of stretchy cord used for jewelry making. We'll use a binder clip or you can also use tape, a pair of scissors, and the optional items are going to be some E6000 glue or some super glue, jump rings, and a pair of pliers. So to begin this project, we're going to take our stretch cord and measure how large we want our bracelet to be. And then take into consideration that you're going to need to tie this off. So you're going to cut your stretch cord a little bit larger than the size that you actually want your bracelet. I'm gonna take the stretch cord and we're going to binder clip it off or tape it down just so the beads won't escape on the other end. You're gonna take your stretch cord and in the middle of your bead is a hole and you're just going to run that cord through the hole of each one of your beads. Again, 19 to 22 beads depending on the size and how large you want your bracelet to be. You're just going to continue to loop those until you get to the end of the bracelet where you're wanting to tie it off. So to tie it off, my fingers kind of got in the way. So I decided to show you um, how to tie your bracelet without any beads. So you're going to cross over the stretchy cord and you're gonna tie what's called a surgeon's knot. So we're gonna loop it under once, loop it under twice, and then you're going to pull it tight, really tight, and then make a knot. And you're going to do that twice. So for the surgeon's knot, again, you're going to loop it under once, loop it under again, tie it really tight, and then put a regular knot in it. And you're going to secure it. So this string, this stretchy string stretches. So don't be afraid to pull it kind of taut. You want to pull it tight so that um, it does not come apart. But this is how you're going to tie your surgeon's knot. You're going to tie two surgeon's knot into your bracelet. So now that I've shown you without the beads, let's tie our bracelet together. So once you've double tied your surgeon's knot, you're done. You'll see me pulling it really tight here just to secure that knot. And once that knot is secure and in place, you'll take your scissors and you'll get ready to cut it. This is where that optional glue comes in. Some people like to put just a dab of uh, E6000 or a dab of super glue so that it doesn't move. But I've never had any issues with my, my uh, bracelets popping off or anything like that. 
So once you have that knot in place, you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna cut it as close to the knot as possible. And then you'll see me also try to take the knot and hide hide the knot so if the holes in your beads is large enough you'll be able to kind of tuck that knot into the beads but as you'll see in a second um, you won't be able to see the knot when you're wearing the bracelet or if you if your knot is a little bit big just turn it to the other side anybody looking at close need to see it so there we go and you've completed your first bracelet and you can continue to you know make bracelets like this in single colors or you can mix your colors up it really is up to you so with the second one we're just gonna add a little something something to it so we have the same amount of beads here but i'm going to use a couple of spacers and i'm also going to show you what to do with the jump rings with the the dangly piece so for every five beads i put a spacer the little rhinestone spacer in and continue that around the bracelet until I got to the end. So then when we get ready to add the charm, what we're going to do is I just clip the bracelet off so that it doesn't move. And I'll take the charm and you can put two to three jump rings on there. And the jump rings are just the little small O-rings that you see here. And we're gonna take the pliers and connect two or three of them. I think I used three here. Connect two or three of them together. And you just open them up just like you would a key ring you open them up you loop them together and once you have those three in place you're going to loop them onto the charm and then just slide the um just slide the o-ring onto the bracelet where you're about to tie it so again once you have those three jump rings in place you're going to take um take it so that it dangles and you're going to slide that onto the stretch band and then you'll tie your surgeon's knot and you're you're done so you've made your two bracelets one with a little jewish to it and one as a plain bracelet and you can continue to make them and stack them add charms to them however you like it's really up to you it's personal preference you can use stones you can use spacer bars as you see here again the options are endless so of course these bracelets aren't just for the ladies i use the matte black beads that you see here um, to make braces for my husband and for my boys um, and you can get matte colored beads um, and they're you know the more masculine ones or wooden beads you can get those to make them for the guys in your life I just had to throw a little thicker than a snicker in here just so you could see but typically I use the matte colored beads um, for the guys in my life so that's an option for you as well but I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you, that you've learned something new. And until next time, keep it crafty.